What's going on YouTube? Welcome into the video. Today we're back here with the LG C2 and we're going to be talking about the latest software update that LG's pushing out for their TVs. So let's go ahead and go into the settings and get everything pulled up. Press and hold that settings button. Head over to support, software update. And as you can see here, I'm currently on version 03.33.16. This update's been out for a couple of months now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the new one loaded up. So let's go ahead and check for updates. Wait, it says no updates found. But I know on LG's website, it says that there was an update that they're pushing out as of like a week ago. Where the hell is it? Have no fear. You have the trusty USB drive here. What we're gonna be doing in this video is manually installing the update, which is something that I have not done with this TV. So, should be an interesting process. So, let's dive right in. Okay, so what we're gonna to need to do is get behind the TV and install this uh, flash drive here. So I'm gonna to have to get behind it. So let's go ahead and carefully lean it out away from the wall and attempt to get back here. And you can see these three ports right here at the top. These are gonna be your USB ports. So I don't think it really matters which one you plug it into, but we'll find out. So get that plugged in, that tilted back around, and I can already see a message has popped up down at the bottom. It says, sorry for the shaky camera by the way, it says the latest version of the software is available for your TV. It's version 03.33.65. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. And look at that. The progress bar immediately showed up. It says update in progress. We're at two, 3% and counting. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and get installed and I'll come back on the other side and talk to you about what comes with this update. Okay, we've made it through the update. It says software update has been successfully completed. Update will be applied when you restart your TV. Do you want to restart now? Just hold on. Note that ongoing functions like recording may be effective. Okay, I'm not more messing around with that. So everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the TV so the update is fully installed and check back in with you there. So the update has completely installed. TV has been restarted. We're back here at this home screen for Apple TV 4K. Let's hold that settings button on the remote, go in and make sure that the firmware shows something different, software update. And it does say we are on version 03.33.65 now. So let's get into what actually comes with this update. So boy, do I have a surprise for you that I cannot wait to tell you about it. So. Usually what comes with these updates, it'll say something like, you know, improvements, fixing some bugs in the software, things like that. And then that's all they say in these updates. Okay. You have no idea what's coming in those updates. You just know that allegedly it's going to help the performance of the TV, right? This time it says improvement. No, I'm just kidding. It does say improvement, but there's actually something else listed and it's reducing latency for Amazon Prime Video live streaming. Now, I can't tell you how much that excites me. Yes, I can. I can tell you it doesn't excite me at all because I don't need it. I, I don't use the apps that are on the TV, but for those of you that rely on the TV apps, WebOS, on your home screen, that's an exciting feature for you. But So there's some, there's some things out there that have been saying that maybe this update also has something to do with catching the C2 up with the C3 and the G3 when it comes to the dimming issue. So one thing I thought I would do while we're here is just do a quick test of the service menu to see if anything has changed there. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in there. You're gonna hit that uh, the old in-start button, hit the code, okay. Uh, at first glance here, nothing looks different. I'm gonna head on down to the number 12 where it says OLED. And sure enough, TPC and GSR are uh, still readily available and something that you can control the dimming when it comes to the TV. So I'm glad to see that this particular update, if it does have something to do with the dimming algorithm and catching it up with the C3 and the G3, I'm really glad to see that the service menu hasn't been impacted and changed like the newer models to where you cannot go in there and control it so easily. But 
that's all I had for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned anything at all, consider hitting that like button. Really helps out the channel. Doesn't cost you anything. If you're new here, if you're not unsubscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit that bell notification so you don't miss an upload, right? Until the next one.